Thank you. My name is David Lee, and I'm also a teacher at Brian Adams in Dallas ISD, and was happy to be named a DTR teacher and receive a $5,000 raise. And DTR stands for? Distinguished Teacher Review. Okay. Um, despite receiving that raise, I have some concerns about the TEI system, and I wanted to share my experiences with you. First of all, I'm really concerned that this system creates a competitive environment on our campus as opposed to a collaborative one. Because there is a bell-shaped curve to the normative distribution of salaries, there's strict competition. The district has to submit their budget and, or approve their budget in June, which means they already know the percentage of teachers that will fall into each category. And so as a result, we have a large number of effective teachers that are stuck in the middle. I am a proficient three a DTR distinguished teacher at Dallas ISD, and I finally feel like I'm being paid as a professional correctly at $65,000 a year. Um, but the problem I see on a daily basis is that my brothers and sisters in the profession are not getting the recognition that they deserve, and a lot of it is I do believe it's because it's tied to the testing. And I know when I, I was at a magnet school uh, for a couple of years, and I was able to climb up the system very easily, a test in magnet school. And then as soon as I moved to the neighborhood school, that is when I got into jeopardy uh, with the TEI system. I pulled the salary data for two years in DISD, and I compared median salaries to the socioeconomic status of teachers who are already teaching kids uh, that are easier to teach and those are where the distinguished teachers are showing up in Dallas ISD. Um, we also have concerns about the student surveys that are problematic. We teach high school students and the responses are biased. Anything less than the maximum positive response is counted against us. It was touted uh, for the use of multiple measures for evaluation. But what I eventually did realize from my experience um, over the course of these past five years is that the student achievement or really the testing component is the most significant part of the instrument. And so I was really shocked when one of my coworkers told me um, to skip the French Revolution. You know, we had gotten to the modern period in world history and he said, skip it. It's not on the district test this district. year. We're being forced to make these kinds of decisions where we have to teach against our pedagogical conscience all the time. Um, we're incentivized to teach the test. Creativity is basically crowded out of classrooms in favor of test prep. Science teachers are not able to teach, uh, to, do, to do lab activities. We, even though they take my test and they compare it against the English two star, which I still don't understand what that calculus is. I teach physics. You know, are we really assessing what we intend to assess, and is the, the data that we get back from that measurement the most valid data that we can attend to? I say until we can perfect that, we probably shouldn't link, t link test scores to pay.